Well, welcome to this week's video. Uh, today we've come out to RSPB Arn um, with the intention of uh, getting some birds and hopefully um, some seeker deer. Well, that was the intention initially. When I got to the car park for dawn, uh, walked uh, out uh, to where I normally see them and uh, there were some signs up where they're, they're doing some culling. So looks as if uh, I could hear some shots going off. So it looks as if they're thinning out the seeker. So. Uh, in respect to trying to catch them, that's a bit of a no-no. You can't get to that side of the reserve, so, which seems to be a reoccurring feature for me. Last week it was winnow, this week it's uh, part of it's cut off. I'm assuming they're only going to do it for the first couple of hours, so I've come over to this side and absolutely what a glorious uh, morning it is. Really, really frosty, lovely and clear. Reminds me of the last time I was here at uh, th uh, this time of year. Um, you can just see Corf Castle over in the background uh, there with a nice bit of morning light. So yeah, I'm hoping to just catch some birds. So with the with the shooting going on, I was intending to stay probably much all of the day, but I think uh, I might have a little change of plan. I'll see how I get on this morning. Um, but then what I might think of doing is uh, drop on my way back home, maybe call into a few places on the coast um, but yeah, I'm going to sort of make it up as I go along really. But uh, uh, an absolutely fabulous day. So it's end of term. Next week uh, I've got uh, a little bit of uh, a few days off, two or three days off. So I'm still sort of formulating a plan for that. I'd like to go back to Farlington Marshes to see if I get a little nice still day like today. To see whether I can get the short-eared owls, some nice photographs of that. Maybe have a look at getting... Uh, some imagery and some photographs maybe of the red deer, but that's going to be a bit of a challenge. Yeah, so I've got a few a few ideas, just play it by ear really, but when it's a day like today and when you're out in, in nature like this, it doesn't really matter what you capture, it's just nice being here. So yeah, but let's see what comes. The viewpoint from Coombe Heath, there's uh, overlooking uh, Middle Beer Lake is is quite breathtaking really. Um, the birds are quite some distance away, lapwings, and here we have some avocets, which I'm viewing from uh, the screen that's overlooking the lake. And we all took off together, which was uh, really quite a sight. I just caught them nicely here. So the culling was taking place at ship stall end uh, on the salt marshes where the seeker deer tend to gather in the mornings and, and evenings. But it looks as if these seeker manage to avoid uh, the guns. Denise felt that it was a, a shame that they were killing uh, such lovely animals, but when they're in conflict with landowners and the Forestry Commission and, and here with the bird habitat, uh, they need to be controlled. I was reading a Country File magazine uh, article in 2021 which stated that uh, it's the highest number of deer for over a, a thousand years and the numbers have doubled since uh, 1999. It's, it's a shame, those, those of us who, who sort of love to see them, it is understandable that you need to control uh, the numbers uh, and also it does improve uh, the stock if it's done in a in a managed way. As I arrived at the ship stall hide, the birds here are, are really quite some distance away and there were good numbers of curlew, lapwing and red shank. But fortunately there were a couple of birds that were quite close to me. Uh, a couple of red shanks are moving around and this curler, which looks as if it's been ringed, it's got some plastic tags, uh, numbered tags on its legs. And also I noticed that it had a tracking device uh, on, its, on its back, so they must be monitoring its movements. Unfortunately, they were doing some forestry work uh, in the in the big wood, so another large section of the reserve 
was 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 out of bounds. So I managed to work my way back up towards uh, Middle uh, Beer Lake, and uh, on my way there, these seeker deer were still in this in this field, quite happy there for people to be walking past. So they seemed to be oblivious, I would guess, of the cull that had taken place this morning. So if you were one of the stalkers, then this would be quite an easy kill. There's quite a large hide overlooking Middle Beer Lake and it's like an amphitheatre almost. There's two or three rows of seating and I've been there before and never seen a great deal um, on this part of, of the reserve before but you could see, catch it in the right, with the tide at the right height at the right time of year, then yes it was absolutely massed with birds, curlew, avocets, And I was really quite pleased to see a couple of spoonbills fly past and just land just to my right and they were close enough for me to get a really good view of them. Here they have a large number I've seen in excess of 30 before but that was at ship stall hide and they were right off in the distance so I couldn't really get a decent view of them. Autumn is the is the best time uh, to view th these birds but to watch them uh, sweeping their bills as they came towards me yeah it was brilliant now I'm as they flew off I'm sl getting slightly better with my tracking of the birds in flight but certainly need a, a little bit more improvement I think So the avocets, grey lag geese and curlew that were decided to take flight and do a little circuit here. I was so settled uh, in this place, it was really quiet and peaceful, I'd, I never did move along the coast. Although from this hide it was quite nice, you could see or give you a good impression how close we are uh, to the Isle of Wight, which you can see off in the distance. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big thumbs up, like and subscribe. And always, really look forward to you joining me in the next one.